Okay, so what we've got here is an older version of the Arthrex program here, which has got uh, revision of IFO 921C. It also has the older IP addresses in it. So I'm going to update it now by doing, I've got the USB flash stick in there, and I'm going to do my quick, uh, or not so quick, uh, reset thing here, which is with the screwdriver on, off, on, one, two, three, off. And um, we're going to watch that reset itself. Well, we won't watch it because it takes too long, but I'll be back. Right, now it's finally stopped flashing all the lights on the USB, and we've got a solid R for run and a green ET, which is flash of the Ethernet. Uh, we've got nothing on the screen here at the moment because that is showing, obviously it's got the wrong IP address in it now, so we need to change our IP addresses back. Uh, so we'll go in there and it'll come up with the password go to the numbers two get in there two seven now we're in network we'll set our network ip address which is going to be uh 10109192 Actually, ten dot one oh nine dot one nine two dot sixty seven. My P address is the same as got a one nine two on the end of it for the seven net mask for some reason. Um, which is that's that done and then go to the VNC and tell it where to look for its information which is 10.1.09.1.192. and this is the address of the PLC so 66 enter that's it done there um, save and exit, save changes and exit. There we go. So we've got the screen back up. If I go to initialize now, we have got the E2 revision and the new IP address is shown there. So if we come out of this on the PLC and go start up our UA expert, which is the OPC UA client and we'll open a server which is arthrex1.uap uh, click on the open and clear this these messages out of the bottom there and we'll go right click on that Let's think about connecting. Could not connect to server. Bad timeout. Now, why does that not work? Because it was working perfectly well before. Properties. Ah, oh, that's because there's no password in there. So let's try it. The password, by the way, is this backwards. So that's if I put in caps lock, it's two. Oops, beg your pardon. Two e one three nine zero one three nine zero. I F click on OK could not connect to server bad timeout now there's nothing wrong with that that was working beforehand I've done a USB upgrade to do this and it's not working so let's have a look at the PLC and find out. Actually, I know why it's not talking. It's because my IP address was still set to the old one. So if I go into here, change adapter settings, right click properties, for properties, I will go 10.109.1992. That's fine. Okay. Close 
x right here we go right a bad certificate name I do not know how to handle the certificate so if you can't get around certificates we are going to have a problem but if I put an ignore there man it's come up with a bad user okay bad user has no values ignore continue connecting time for another refresh no it's not going to let us go in I don't know why that is that was working okay when I configured the OPC UA server Directly using the PCLC programming tool, but with a USB upgrade, something is missing. So that's why the USB upgrade has not worked. Uh, I apologise for that, and uh, it's going to have to be a visit, I'm afraid. Okay, last video. Um, in actual fact, I think the last failure was because I put in the wrong password. I might have got my E and my 2 round the wrong way. Uh, we've got our EOPC UA up here. If I log in to this screen... And go to the program screen. Start putting some figures in here. You can see these ones are all zeros. All these things that say program naught, program naught, program naught. If I go and start putting some figures in on the screen, 56 should appear in one of them. 25 should appear in another one of them. Uh, 86 agitations three. Repeat cycles two, paper two should be 57, freeboard should be 98, and extraction should be 856. And uh, you should see the cycle options change because I'm going to change first to lockdown last on that one, so they're changing as well. And I'm going to switch on agitate with sonics. There we go. So you can see things changing on OPC UA. So in actual fact, the USB upgrade does work. I will send you this one and see how you get on with it.